First I must greet the Holy Spirit, the head and keeper of my life, and then I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King. Thus say the Lord, you say in bold, is going to leave his baby mother. Five people, including a father and his two sons, have been murdered in Anoka between last night and early this morning. The father and sons were reportedly killing a home invasion last night in Johnson Town in the parish. In another incident last night, the director of a funeral home was reportedly shot dead by gunmen. It is also reported that gunmen opened fire in the Lucy Car Park this morning, killing one man. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Strong is expected to visit the parish this morning to get an update on the crime situation. Yes. Don't turn on one in politics. I beg you, no. do not turn on one in politics. That one is serious. Very, very serious. We are talking about Andrew, his wife, and his mate in a parliament. And I talk about Mark Golding and his dual citizenship. To make on that face bigger problem on that right now. No. Cars are living, turn up. Cars are living gone. We are, 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 we are up in the sky, bro. Cars are living, turn up, bro. You know, say so one thousand that can buy you two patty and one juice. One thousand that can buy you a box food and a juice. You know, say so thousand that can cook chicken back and rice again, unless you cook for yourself and maybe you are two somebody. Jack Garden was difficult, man. It tough. It rough. Casper Market and spent fifteen thousand dollars. Don't tell you, Chris, baby can carry that the grocery day. Cause a little bit of Sydney I get for your fifteen thousand. I remember say fifteen thousand dollar minimum wage, you know. No nah, man, drum make a castle living, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, man. Yeah man. This one's some in Christ, some intervention, man. The boss them I imply people must go do something. The government have to go do something. You wicked man. You wicked man. You castle living up the brother. You up the brother as you get your little piece so your money done. Your money done, now you have to find yourself go back and work again until you get pay again. No nah, man, something have to done about this man. This are not politics, brother. This is not religion, brother. This is a reality, brother. This is something where we have to come together. A mom is now appealing for help to find her missing daughter, Marliana Wiktik, 816, who has been missing for over a month. Marliana was reportedly last seen in her community of Watson Avenue in Swallowfield, St. Andrew on May 2nd and has not been heard from since. However, since the teenager's disappearance, her mom, Michelle, say she has been receiving strange calls from private numbers. Marliana is of dark complexion, slim build about 165 centimeter, 5 feet, 5 inches tall and sports a perm hairstyle. Reports from the stadium police are that about 7.30 p.m. Marliana was last seen in her community wearing a white blouse, yellow jaggers and a pair of gold slippers. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Marliana Wiktik is asked to contact the stadium police at 876-946-1831, police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. It's affecting their schoolwork and I'm begging Jamaica, please, please help to find Shanti. Well, Shanti is a very shy person. She does not go out. She does not have a lot of friends. I can, um, one friend I know of, she doesn't go, as I said, she don't go out not even with her sister. Sometimes I have to beg her to go out with her sisters. She's always inside her bed. As long as she have her phone, her food, and her internet, she's good. She's not leaving the house, going nowhere. This sort of missing or disappearance. Is, is it a bit strange than the norm? Very strange. Why is it so? Because I, I, I don't know if it happening before, especially within my community. This is the first, and I've been living here for 40 years. And it's from the community she would have missed it? Yes. So when you check around and ask? What Nobody you... sees anything. Nobody knows anything. All right. You were saying that she was at the shop. She was at home or at the shop? She was at the shop. You, you operate a shop, right? Yeah, because I operate a shop and she was at the shop because I spoke to her at exactly two minutes after seven and I said to her, I soon come because I'm at a meeting. And when I reached home, she was not here. You know, she wasn't inside of my house. She wasn't by her sister. 
and I call her phone, the phone ring without an answer. And then after several calling, it goes straight to voicemail. Say so that when you had a person calling you on the phone? Yep. Okay, yes. Explain to me exactly. Um, yes. She went missing on the second. I got the first, second of me. I got the first call, the third of me. That was the Friday night from a private number. Male or female? It's a male, mm -hmm. right? And they were saying a lot of derogative things on the phone. However, I went back to the station. Um, one particular call, a female call, asking me for 100 and, telling me that my daughter is on a $150,000 bill. Bill? Yes. She called to say she has my child at Constant Street Police Station because she was found in the presence of a wanted man with stolen cars and other stuff. So based upon that, she's on a $150,000 bail and I must um, come with the bail money because she's leaving work at eight o'clock in the morning. And at the time it was about 7.30 the Sunday morning. Of course, um, the counselor and the MP is here to give you some support. Yes. I am very pleased with them because at the end of the day, they are my biggest supporters in all this that is happening, you know? Well, you know, it's been a mystery to all of us. Um, Shanti was somebody who is a well-behaved child, and so it was a big surprise when we heard that she couldn't be found. So I just want to join in the appeal to anybody who has seen her, anybody who has any information about her, to contact the nearest police station, Stadium Police, or to 119 or any police station. It has been obviously very distressing for the family. They're going six weeks not knowing where she is. And you know, it is just out of character for her to just get up and, and disappear.